Hi, my name is Cold Bear, and for this long time no see, I've made you a review of a game which left many of us confused when we saw the first trailer half a year ago. Many of you were skeptical and didn't believe this game even existed and called it a scam. But you know what? It's not, and I am just as surprised as you are. I was playing this game for a few days now and I can tell you a thing or two. It's a really weird hybrid, it's a city building, hunting, survival, open world RPG. Yeah, you have heard me right. Some guys just couldn't decide what genre to pick, so they decided to pick them all. You know, like a hot dog with all the sauces. Or, you know, a ladyboy. It's at least two in one. Game is in a really early stage now. You can tell from a various details, like, you know, this skeleton. It doesn't move. Also, it makes no sense for this skeleton to be intact. Yeah, you know, when the body decomposes, it just rots away and there is no way for it to keep the integrity of its previous form. You know, like you and I failed to keep our previous form of being... less fat. In short, this is nonsense. So here you will take the role of the main bandit called Robin Loxley, and the first thing you will notice is his modern hairstyle. I can say for sure that in these times a haircut like that would probably get you killed for being, you know, not manly enough. Oh wait, what I'm talking about? Just a few years ago in my own country you couldn't grow long hair if you were a man, because then you submitted yourself to constant risk of being attacked by various gopniks. And I had long hair, yeah, that's me! So this is how I learn how to fight. And by fight I mean to run really fast. Anyway. About 20 years have passed since then and now you can grow whatever on whatever in Lithuania and nobody will bat an eye on you. So in the game as Robin Loxley you will have a lot of things to do here because you can complete various quests. At first they just teach you how to play the game. The first quest is to drink the water and eat your bread. It wasn't that easy. You can't just click on things in your inventory, oh no. You have to equip the bread just like you equip your sword and then use it just like you would attack with your sword. It makes sense gives a feeling of realism, but do we really need it? I, I don't know, maybe. So yeah, you have to stay alive and build your village in the woods. For that you will need a bunch of resources, such as stones, wood, not that wood, <laughs> and meat. To get meat you have to hunt, that is a really fun part of a game. You craft a bow, you craft some arrows and you go deep into the woods to kill some friendly animals and by animals I have to say that I saw only deers. At first I was trying to play like a real hunter, I was sneaking upon unsuspecting prey step by step until I could release my arrow of death. But later I decided that this is not the way of a man. So I started hunting like the real predator I am. Yeah, like that. It's way more fun. And then I had a lot of meat to feed all of my villagers. By the way, villagers have no AI. They are just walking in circles and doing nothing. They pretend to be busy, but they are not. Just like you when you sit in the office at work. It breaks immersion. But this, as I've said, it's a really early build of the game. So let's hope they will add more to it. When you have enough resources you can build more buildings for yourself and your community. That is really cool. For that you have separate menu where you can control all building stuff. Or if you don't like to build you can go out and kill. The forest is filled with various soldiers and they want you dead. You know, because you are a bandit and you kill people for money. Just be sure that you have saved your game before. You can't save any time you want. You have to find save station, which is any bed where you can sleep and save progress in the process. The whole game is obviously not finished, but unlike you, it has great potential. And as I've said, it's real, not like your girlfriend. And that is awesome. Anyway, for now, I can give only six vodkas out of 10, but later we will see. Nobody knows. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm back and videos will start flowing again. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye.
That's it. That's it.